Wheels Not Heels and a few others asked me to make a video about the way I pack and unpack my motorcycles, especially so that I could do it in a very quick way. If you watch one of my previous videos, you know they had a fire alarm at the motel I was at, and since in the morning I put all my stuff together and packed it up in the bags that it belongs, I was able to grab everything and be out the door in about five minutes. That's get my gear on and grab the two packs. So first off, my idea, instead of carrying a regular bag anymore, is to carry my most essential stuff and most important stuff in a backpack itself. And the way I've got it strapped on, as usual, I double everything. It's got four sets of bungee cords holding it on here. So I will just, I can actually do it even a faster way. I can either unhook it or I can actually just bring these over to the side and leave them hooked up so they hold the other stuff on. Same thing on the other side, bring the two bungee cords over, like this, and then I've got the backpack. I unbuckle the buckle, untie the little knot. Now normally I would have my gear on, also at the same time. I would be like if I stopped off at a motel or something like that, I would have my jacket and my helmet and everything like that. So here's one bag ready to go. And then everything else essential is on the front of my bike. I've got a front bag, and that's got my camera gear in it. So this has clothes, my laptop, and then at the top, uh, medicine and my grooming supplies and stuff like that. So that's all in here. That's the most important thing. Second most important is get my camera gear out. So I'll go over here. Take this loose. Just hanging on my light bar. Basically, this is all that I carry right here. This is the most essential stuff. If I'm in a decent neighborhood, I will basically leave my sleeping bag, my rain gear, and my sleeping pad on here. Um, I've never had anybody mess with it whatsoever. Uh, one time during my trip, because of the fact the way the parking lot was cutting through a neighborhood and a lot of people were driving by, I did take this off and bring it in, but 90% of the time I just leave it on here and nobody has ever messed with it. So basically with these two things and my gear on, I go in the motel and I'm ready to go. And I park my bike um, like most people do probably. I pick a spot. If they give me a bad room, I tell them I want a room where I can overlook the parking lot where my bike is parked. And so far... Every place I've stayed comfort in, Super 8s, Motel 6, so far everybody has accommodated me because as a biker you want to keep an eye on your bike. So I'm ready to go that way. And then I'll show you a little more detail of what's actually in my bags. Oh, also, as I get off, I have my GPS comes off just like that and goes right in my pocket. So I walk in with that too. I don't leave my GPS on my bike. So that's the other essential thing that comes with that's very small, fits in my pocket. Another thing I do when I travel is I'm always getting on and off the bike and taking my helmet off. And if I'm stopping for about a 15 minute break, I'll take my sunglasses and just, I've got these bungee cords like this, just put it like that. Never come, come off, never come loose. That way when I get off the bike, take my helmet off if it's bright and sunshiny. Take my glasses like that and they're good to go. The other important thing when you do get these kind of backpacks and things like this is have side opening pockets because there's always going to be stuff you want to get want to get to, little essentials and stuff like that. You're just going to have to find out for yourself what works for you on small trips, but eventually I did myself find out what I want to get to all the time. The first few trips I took, it's always buried in the bottom of your bag or something like that. Don't do that to yourself. I always have, like for example on this one, the way it's mounted on the bike, it sits like this. So I have this side pocket here, anything I want to get to and reach, anything here, I can unzip this too and get to anything right away, even with the bungee cord on the bike and everything like that. So make sure when you get bags or if you decide to go with the backpack, make sure it's got extra pockets that are easy to get into, even when it's bungeed up. Okay, I'll take the camera and move it a little bit so you can see what's in the backpacks here. Let me aim it down here. This backpack, usually when I'm back at home, this part is where my rain gear is kept. And now it's on the outside of the bike. But for my trip, 
plenty of extra paper towels, tons of them. This is anything written down, although I've got everything on the computer and stuff like that. I want written copies of everything in case my computer or my telephone breaks down. All my addresses, the places I'm going to go, directions, stuff like that. Um, a notebook with any kind of notes I want to make. Anything like that. I've got everything pretty much in a hard copy along with the computer copies of, of everything for my trip. And I've got, this was something I actually made on the road, which will be going to somebody. Got my duct tape. Always have duct tape. And the WD-40. Bungee cords. I've got lots of extra bungee cords. I've got pockets in this thing. I've got more bungee cords stuck in it. More bungee cords over here. And these are just an example of my tools. I've got my uh, socket set here that will fit the axle nut to do the adjustments when I'm adjusting the chain. I had to adjust the chain one time on my trip was all. Then I've got my Stuff for chain lube. I use a different kind of chain lube compound than most people do. I actually use Dura Lube and a brush for my chain. That's always worked out really well. Set of Allen wrenches. Extra pair of gloves. And as a matter of fact, since they didn't take up much space, I have two extra pair of gloves in case I lose one. And then here is my other additional tool set. And this will still handle about 90%. I mean, you may have for your bike other special tools you need, but for my bike, this will pretty much handle everything. You got a pliers with a cutter on it, and a wrench, and a multi screwdriver that's got all your different blade sizes. So that should be able to handle everything until you get somewhere. These are not meant to do any kind of elaborate repairs on the bike, they're just meant to uh, patch something together to get you to a destination or something like that. And you can always, if you're anywhere near any size city whatsoever, always get more new new tools in any kind of big box store or something like that. Okay, let's go to the other side. This is my cold weather gear. I used to actually wrap it up and I found out, oh no, I already took it in. I had the cold weather gear in here. What it was is it's just my insulated jumpsuit and I used to roll it up and stuff it in here but it bulged the bag out so much that I uh, basically just crammed it in there and it made it all wrinkled but it still worked. And uh, if you've been following my videos, you know that I've had to use my cold. But yeah, I took it. I forgot I took it inside. But this was just a bag for my cold weather gear, so it's mostly empty now. But I have extra paper towels everywhere I can that I can stuff extra. I have extra garbage bags, more bungees everywhere, any, anywhere there's any kind of place to stuff them. And this time I just brought because I had room in the thing. I threw a couple extra pliers, and they were actually useful for. It. A few things I did. So I had two sets of pliers, sandwich bags. If you're traveling anywhere where anything's going to be in the rain, what I did is I came close to getting rained on a few times. And what I did was I took my wallet, and you can also take your cell phone and just put it in one of these, seal it up, and then put it back in your pocket. And then that way, if you don't have time to get your rain gear on, your stuff doesn't get wet. So there's the pliers, the bungee cord, and the other thing is every stop. I take the regular polish and scratch remover and polish up my windscreen on my helmet because the more you keep it polished and the more you keep that outside nice and slick like that, the bugs either just come right off or you can just take your gloved hand and just wipe them off and your helmet stays fairly clean. It's still, after 100 miles, does get kind of dirty, but it'll last 100 miles easily for you. By 100 miles, you should be ready for your next stop. As a matter of fact, probably it's better if you would do it about every 80 miles or so. So, uh, yeah. The rest is a few more bungee cords in there to show you, and uh, that is about that. Um, so anyway, if you have any more questions about it, um, that's about everything I could think of about the way that I pack it, stuff like that. The other details and the stuff inside. Oh, the other thing I do too is uh, this camera bag is a little bit oversized because the actual camera box, camera bag inside it, I'll show it to you. This 
is the actual camera bag. So it's obviously quite a bit smaller than the bag. So what I do is as I dirty up my clothes, if I don't have a place I can do laundry, I keep transferring the clean clothes from the backpack into this pack. So this pack starts out a lot more empty and ends up fairly full right now. As a matter of fact, I've got laundry that needs to be done, as you can see in here. There's some that needs to be done. And the other thing I would advise, too, is never keep everything all in one place. For example, the camera I'm filming this with was actually in the top pouch of my backpack. Because should something happen and you lose one case like this, your trip isn't over. You still at least have another camera to spare, or in my case, two, because I always keep one in my pouch right here. I keep a Vado in here, and then that's a Sony uh, camera right there. So... Make sure that, especially if you're a moto vlogger, don't keep all your cameras just in one case to where if that case gets lost, damaged, or wet, all your cameras are dead. Keep a few items just in separate spots so if something should happen. Um, I think that about covers it then. Um, any questions or anything like that, just leave in the comments.